Hi YouTube, this is Miro. Welcome to the sixth part of my series about ASP.NET Core 2. In this part, we will take a look on pipeline and middleware. So let's dive in. Open your ASP.NET Core project and open the startup class. You can set up your pipeline in configure method. The request will be processed from up to bottom and then up again. It's a little bit weird, so take a look at this in detail. As first, what is pipeline? Pipeline looks like chain of delegates and these can choose whatever to pass the execution flow to the next one or not. This is based on incoming requests or outcoming responses. This can be achieved with inline anonymous functions or you can make it reusable in a separate class. Let's look at the diagram. Here is one pipeline which consists of three middlewares. The incoming request is processed by the first middleware and the programming flow is passed to the next middleware. The same in the next one and the last one breaks the execution and send the execution flow back again until the user get his response back. In this diagram it's easy to understand why the order of these middlewares matters. We are putting exception handling as first because we want to catch errors during the processing the request. And a run statement as last because this is not passing the programming flow to the next middleware. And what is this good for? You can improve the performance of your application by filtering invalid incoming requests. For example, the incoming request has an invalid access token or the user is not allowed to use some kind of resource within your application. You can implement different exception handling depending on your current environment or even edit the response message. You could, for example, add or remove something from HTML response and much, much more. It's also good to know that request delegates can be configured only by using free extension methods. The run is also called terminal middleware because always ends the execution. Map maps the request path to a sub-request pipeline. Use is just adding middleware to the pipeline. Let's go back to the Visual Studio and take a look on the run and use extension methods. As first, I will search for use, control F, use, and this method is already used five times. Use developer exception page renders very nice and useful HTML side if some exception is thrown. We can try this out with home controller. I open the controller folder, home controller, and I write throw exception to my index method. And save. Now I run the application with control F5. And there is your exception page. You can see the call stack, cookies, and request headers. Now we can try out the regular exception page. I will close this one. I will go to the project, properties, select your profile, IIS Express, and change the environment to stage. And save. Now I will run the application one more time with F5. Your call stack and all the useful information for you and for the potential attacker are gone. And now, even if an exception was thrown, the user can still navigate through the site. So I can switch to the contact or about everything works except home. And there is your exception. I will close this one. Let's go back to your startup class. Use a browser link. It's handy if you want to test your website in multiple browsers at once. We saw already this use exception handler. Use static files is necessary if you want to use your static files within the www root folder. And the last one is use MVC. This tells your pipeline that you want to use MVC pattern. There are three versions of this method. Use MVC without parameter use mvc with default root and use mvc which takes a delegate i will take a look on each of these in my next video let's try out the run extension method this will break the execution chain in my pipeline so let's check how this app behaves in the current state 
I will remove the exception from my home controller. Just commit it out. Save and run with F5. And there is your default page. As you can see, you can scroll up, down, play with carousel, navigate to contacts, about or home. So I will close this, go back to your startup. Now I will paste a simple run statement. To use this method, you have to import Microsoft ASP.NET Core HTTP namespace. And there is it. So now try it out with F5. And the whole web page is gone because we will never hit the use developer exception page, use browser link, use exception handler, use static files, or use MVC. In this video, we we'll learned what is pipeline and middleware and how this fits together. In the next one, I will focus only on the use MVC method and routing. And this is everything for this part. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And see you in the next part.